Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. I've been using Dow joinery for years. They're cheap, readily available, make a really strong joint and they're hidden, not like screws. So I thought I'd show you some of the machines I've used. I started with this Wolfcraft jig. It's pretty cheap and produces holes in six, eight or 10 mil. It can be self-centered and is really good for joining boards together. Now, I no longer have this one, but I've got this one that's a little bit of a step up. It can produce holes that are six, eight and 10 mil as well. It also self centers and I've added these strips so it can center on even thinner material than it comes as standard. It has an adjustable stop that hooks over the edges of boards. It has three holes to drill, but it comes with different size bushings that can be swapped out. It's made of aluminium with these brass screws that all come out so the whole thing can be taken apart, which is really handy. Now, if you want to drill a whole line of holes, you can drill the first ones and then put one of these provided pegs in and keep going along. With both of these styles of jigs, you need a drill and preferably a stop collar. I prefer this style that opens up and clamps on, but of course they are more expensive. Now, talking of things that are more expensive, here is a Triton dual dowel joiner. The one I got came with eight mil drills and I purchased 12 mil as an optional extra. I believe 10 mil also available. It can cut a max depth of 40 mil, meaning Technically, an 80 mil by 12 mil dowel could be used. I prefer using these 75 mil dowels as they give me a bit more wiggle room with the glue in the hole. With a few of these dowels at a joint, you can make something really quite large, and I've even made doors with these. Now, it's definitely not perfect, and I have done a review of this years ago. It has a fence that locks on one side, and it can be knocked out of alignment, so you have to keep checking. And that's the main problem with dowels. If you don't have the holes drilled perfectly, they're really not gonna to go together well. I've had this machine for a few years now, and I have been told they've made a few improvements since then, so it might be better now. Now, you don't need these fancy jigs. You can get away with just marking out your work well and drilling perfectly straight holes, either using a drill press or a drill guide. And I've even seen Peter Millard of 10 Minute Workshop use a sewing bobbin as a guide. When the holes are drilled, some center points can be used to transfer the holes to a joining piece of wood. This all works fine, but obviously the jigs make life a little easier. I no longer have the first jig, but the other three methods I still use. Now, dowels themselves are readily available in six, eight, 10 and 12 mil, all coming in different lengths or you can make your own by buying some dowel rods and cutting them down. The advantage of the store-bought ones is that these little grooves down the side, which gives the glue a place to go when the dowels are hammered into the holes. So I'm a big fan of dowels, but there are some disadvantages. The first being they're round. That might sound obvious, but this can be a problem when joining smaller bits of wood together. If you only have room for one dowel, it can twist around. This is a problem that the much more expensive Vestal Domino doesn't have. Another disadvantage these jigs have is I think they work well when you have a reference edge. If you try and add something like a shelf in the middle of a board, it's a little more tricky. If a hole's only one millimeter out, it's not gonna to go together well. This is less of a problem with things like biscuit joints and dominoes, as you have a bit more wiggle room. The trouble with biscuits is they don't offer much strength, and obviously the problem with the domino is the cost of it. So dowels are definitely not perfect, but they're a good, strong, cheap method of joinery and definitely a step up from using just screws. So I hope you found this useful. I'm gonna put links on the tools I use page down below to everything I've mentioned in this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.